Okay. So here we have Alex Kushadze, guys. He's a young Georgian. I think he's like the next Irakli if Bacho is the next Levan. Introduce yourself, Alex. Hello, guys. My name is Alex. I'm 18 now. Originally from Georgia, but I was uh, raised in Canada, basically, Ontario, Toronto. And yeah, I love to arm wrestle. So how long have you been arm wrestling for now? Uh, about a bit more than two years now. A bit more than two years, right? So this, I, I met you at second practice. Yeah. The second yeah. practice, you found arm wrestling through arm bed. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I, I, I wanted to get into it. I didn't know what it was like. I thought there was just tournaments. And I found arm bed out of Devin's Facebook, actually. And I downloaded it. And I met, I met a couple guys, uh, Michael and uh, you. And that was it. That was the beginning. Wrestling for like two years. Yeah. You've already won provincials. You've already won nationals. Yeah. So you got you got good genetics for it. You think so? Yeah, I'd yeah. like to think so. I, I'm go- I'm doing good so far, right? I mean, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see where where it goes. Yeah. Okay. So j- let's just measure our hands. So this guy has massive hands, guys. So this is his left left arm. Perfect. So for for yeah. instance, he's tw- he's like 20 pounds lighter than me, about the same height, right? Yeah. You're, you're probably a little bit taller than me. Yeah. So you're like six feet tall. Yeah. Six yeah. feet, 174 pounds, 180 pounds, 80 yeah. kilos. His hands are mad. Like, trust me, guys. I have I have good genetics, you know, for big hands. Like my fingers are really long. Yeah. That's what people say, and his hands are bigger. The wrist bends really, yeah, his... re- really, really uh, deep. I don't know why. Yeah, his wrist. It's very flexible. I, I didn't know it was like that till like a couple weeks ago. I figured out, but yeah, it's more than 90 degrees. Really? It's like the yeah. quack. Yeah, the duck, know, the yeah. duck pose. Yeah, it's, it's very flexible, but I can't, I can't touch my fingers. But. Yeah, so it, you've got good genetics, right? I'd so, say so. so what's your goals with arm wrestling? Like, um, oh, I want to see how far I can take it, right? I mean, definitely WAF, and WAF is my goal. Maybe 90 kilos if I keep putting on some more weight. I feel like I have a bigger frame to fill out. So maybe WAF, WAF is my goal. World champion, maybe one day. One day? Yeah. Seniors world champion at 90 kilos? Yeah. That's your goal? Yeah, that's my goal. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So for now, you've, you've uh, beat the IFA youth world champion, Mason Rossi. Yeah. That was a good match. He was, he's really strong. So yeah. that was a good win for you. Yeah. So both of you guys were under 19 when the match took place. So right yeah. now, how old are you? You're 18? I turned 18 like two weeks ago. So, yeah. yeah. So you're 18 now. I'm and 18 you started now. when you were 16, right? 15. 15. 15. 15. Yeah. Like, okay. I was two and a half years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, I remember two. It's been two and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. So I think three years is, is when, like, you get really good. Yeah. Like, I felt like I got pretty good, like, around three year, around the three, four year mark. So yeah. you still have lots of progression. Yeah, I feel like last six months has been a big jump for me. But I have to see. I, there's provincials uh, next weekend, so I'll see. How that goes and with the results, mm. yeah. So this year, th- this year provincials, you're competing at 80 kilos, 176. Yeah, I'll try to make 80 yeah. kilos. Yeah, John over, Therian, but... Yeah, none of the veteran guys are in there. John Therian isn't pulling. Yeah, but yeah, he's big now. He's like some one. guys that Dan Belafeo. Yeah, Matt Hamlin, yeah. Jordan. If, do you think you can beat Crazy George if he shows up? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> that I mean. He's a he's a legend, right? Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. I'd yeah. love to pull him, like. Yeah, just for fun. Just for fun. I don't care if I lose. Yeah. I just want to feel it, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you can go practice with him anytime in London. I could. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely want to Let's travel go. around. Yeah. Okay. So, what what do you like about arm wrestling? Other than the fact that you're good, like, let's say yeah. you were not super good, okay? Yeah. Would you still be arm wrestling? Well, I always arm wrestled in school, like back in Georgia, and I used to enjoy beating people, <laughs> and I just. I felt like it was like a way to like show someone that you're stronger than them without like fighting. fighting them, right? And I think that's good because you can show someone that you're stronger and also be nice to them, you know? I think I just enjoy that feeling. It's, it's just important to me. It also helps me like um, with my life too. I feel like it's a way to let your energy out, like let your anger out too. I think it's just it's a big thing for me, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand. You, so you like the community too? Like the community yeah, in Canada yeah. is pretty good? Yeah, it's very All of them good. are friends. I've never been in a better community than this. Like everyone's so nice, everyone's friendly, and I get along with almost everyone. 
I don't have haters yet, so yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. What's your workout like, Alex? Like, for, what's your workout like for arm wrestling? Oh, right now I'm still in high school. I'm in grade 12, so I get home from school, and I, if I don't have anything that day, I sometimes train all day, basically, because if I if I don't leave the house, and I train uh, almost. So I do two bodybuilding workouts a week just for main strength, just to look better too, like sometimes chest, back, shoulders. I don't do legs. And so two bodybuilding works out, workouts a week. I do you one arm You go to the gym twice a week? Twice two, or sometimes, three times. Sometimes. And I do arm wrestling session once a week. And then basically throughout the week, I train every day for blood flow and sometimes once a week heavy arm wrestling workouts. So just back pressure, side pressure, yeah, back rising, pressure, pronation, side pressure, everything, everything. everything. Yeah. Just, I balance it out. Okay. So one day I go a bit heavier on, uh, for example, cupping, and the next day I go a bit heavier on the rising and then pronation, and then. Is that any arm wrestling, like arm wrestlers you look for in workouts, or you just do it according to how you feel? Like, do you try to follow, let's say, Levan's workout or Devin's workout or Toddzilla no, workout? No, I, I definitely learn some things from everyone. Like, I, I got something from everyone, but then I turn it into my own way, what works for me and what doesn't. Because I definitely tried some workouts that doesn't, doesn't work for me. Maybe it works for someone else, mm. but I, I changed it in my own way, basically. Yeah. That's nice. So what, what are your max lifts, back, back pressure? What's your max lift? 125. 125 pounds? Yeah, like one arm like this. Just hammer yeah. curl, hammer back hammer pressure. Hammer curl, from on the table. On yeah. a table, on a pulley system, yeah. 125 pounds. Yes. So that's like, I think 60 kilos? No, 55, 55, kilo, 55. 55 kilos, yeah. And uh, pronation through the thumb um, from the pulley angle. So I, pronation like this, you just... Yeah, but I just... Lock it and pull Just back. lock it and pull back. I've done 115. 115. Both arms, yeah. So that's like 52 kilos. Yeah, but now I train differently. So I do through the thumb and I also do through the hand, but I don't max out through the hand because yeah. you could it just injure hurts. something. Yeah. yeah, So I just balance it out through those two. Okay. And uh, rising is uh, 75. I've done 75. Just through a towel, arms. just like this? No, through the strap mm. uh, from the bottom. Just like that. Yeah, just, mm. just like that. Yeah, that's, I think th that's your weakness. Like from, from arm wrestling you and yeah. for people who have arm wrestled you, yeah. they say your rising is your weakness and it shows because yeah. like some people have like 90 pound riser and they have a only 120 pound back pressure, you know? Yeah. It's not a weakness, like you don't have it much no, weakness. No, definitely uh, my other parts in my hand is definitely stronger, but yeah. I feel like I had an injury before here and mm. it never like, even though it's healed, my brain doesn't let me use it as much because mm. I feel like I'm going to injure it again. So I think it's going to take time for me to like uh, mm. get used to it again. My left is good on the rising. Mm. My right is not yet, but I, it, sh it should get better soon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you do any side pressure, like max side pressure? I do. I've tried it. I've tried it. What's your, what, what do you 125. think? 125. 125 max 125. side pressure. That's good, man. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, but yeah. I don't. I don't really do it as much. Mm. I just. I was yeah. just curious. Yeah. Yeah, but I do wrist wrench mostly. Like, what's your max? Like in a two point five inch, like a two point five inch wrist wrench, like just cupping, just like pure cup. Uh, Every to just contain in a cup. So there's this lift that I tried. It was uh, inspired by RVJ, where you take the wrist wrench without the straps and you only cup your wrist. Yeah. And I was able to do seventy five on that. Seventy five. But that's, that's hard, right? It's hard. Just, just you, 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 you square up and you, were, you only move your wrist, no shoulder or no nothing. And without that, I, I was able to drag like 95 pounds with wrist mm. wrench, with the shoulder. But without yeah. the shoulder, it's harder. Yeah. yeah. How, how, that's crazy because for me, my side pressure yeah. and my just dragging with, with the wrist wrench is the same weight. Because it's your, it's your side pressure is crazy. 125 pounds is crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's just yeah. your Georgian elbows. I guess so. Well, <laughs> I had an injury, actually. Uh, people don't know about this. When I was uh, 11 or 12 years old, I, in I was injured by arm wrestling, actually. I arm wrestled someone who was a bit older Maybe it was a boon in disguise. Like, lots of arm wrestlers, like Yard and yeah. Sonam, have the same injury. So it was not a back. break, but I was definitely hooking. And it was on a piece of rock, like in the <laughs> forest. And something popped. And I went home and I didn't tell my parents that it was from arm wrestling. So they took me to a doctor's and they couldn't do anything about it. So I was also moving to Canada at that time, 12, 13, and I couldn't strain my arm for like six, seven months. It was like 
I have to stretch it out, all that, and then it healed by itself. But then there's still, um, it was right here. It was cracked here, but it, it's healed now, thankfully. So I think it's good. I have a good pronation uh, muscle here. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, it's. So this is 18 year old Jarjin, yeah. Jarjin muscles. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So you went to Georgia, right? Yeah. Like for a visit for your family? Yeah. Did you arm wrestle anyone there? Yeah, I arm wrestled Gennady, actually. Yeah, and you, you've been Gennady? Oh. No, he, <laughs> he, he didn't even give, give anything, right? He just let yeah, you no. just, you know, pin him. No, actually, Gennady was surprised that I knew how to arm wrestle because, like, you're from Canada. <laughs> what did right? he say? How do you know how to... They were like, who taught you how to arm wrestle there? No one knows how to arm wrestle. And I kind of, I was a bit pissed off at that, but, you know. <laughs> They, they still taught me a little bit, like yeah. moves and all that, because I was pretty new back then. I was like eight months in. Oh, you were pretty strong back then too, I don't know. I, I was strong, but I was definitely not where I'm right yeah. now. Yeah, right? and then you came back two months later, like 20% stronger. Yeah, but it was yeah. probably the food, like the home food. And yeah, everything. yeah. And the rest. Yeah, probably, yeah. I, I still trained with a couple people, like I, mm. my friends and all that. But yeah, it, it was good overall. Definitely put me a bit higher. So did you learn anything from Georgia that you don't think would have, like it's different from Canadian arm wrestling? Like anything you yeah. do? Like for example, what they do is, uh, you know how some people, they, they say that, oh, I can topple with my right, but I can topple with my left. Mm. What they do is they make you do that each move like 50, 100 times. So your hand get used to it, right? You know? Just so like pronate? I was just, 50. I had another guy in front of me and I just did, did top rolling and he followed me and I did that like 100 times. And next day, my back was sore from like rotating, you know, but then your hand gets used to it. So you kind of like you learn a bit better, right? They, they train on the table like you do pronation. The other guy helps you open up and that's that's where you get your training. And it's not on the weight sometimes, you know? Mm. Yeah, that, that was the main thing, probably. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty new for Canadian yeah. arm wrestling. Wh who's your? Do you see anyone as a role model or like do you have a favorite arm wrestler? Uh, no, I don't I don't know like people that I Think I could get to that level maybe like someone who inspires me you mean? Yeah There's a lot of guys that inspire me. Yeah, right? lots of nice arm wrestlers. Well, I Like RVJ Jordan Sonev Giannis, I think Giannis is very good There's a lot of guys, right? Mm -hmm. Um Obviously, Devin, too. He inspired me a lot getting into the sport. You know, there's Levon. There's a lot of guys. There's a lot. I, I, I learn a lot of things from uh, different athletes because I watch them all the time. So I kind of like, they're all in my, in my head, you know. Yeah. So do you have any, do you have any arm wrestlers that you look for for motivation? Let's say you're going to go to the gym and you're like feeling slightly less motivated. When I, uh, are you just you just like all these arm wrestlers? Is there any arm wrestler that get, gets you pumped up? You know, probably Jordan Sonev. Actually, I've been watching him a lot lately. Yeah, yeah. I, I like his style. I like the idea of like your fingers being strong enough that it doesn't get opened up. I, I, I like he inspires mm. me a lot. Okay, it's pretty young too, right? So yeah. So do you, do you want to face anyone like like let's say you're watching someone on YouTube and you're like I can beat this guy like he's talking too much you know do you uh, feel like that with anyone you see on YouTube? I won't say I can beat them, but I definitely want to try against Dustin Allen, Dustin Allen Hyatt. Dustin Hyatt? Yeah, yeah. he was he was at Armors, and also um, Chris Stubbs Blo Blumanis. From yeah, he's Latvia. a WAF, WAF youth champion. They're pretty right? young, like similar weight. I think, I, I, I wouldn't say I can beat them, but I, yeah. I definitely want to see where I'm at compared to them. I think it's a good like reality check, you know? Exactly. Because they haven't met me, I haven't met them, so it's hard yeah. to tell, you know? Yeah, so you, you, it's good. Like you, you're aiming high, you're not just aiming yeah, yeah. at like some local yeah. guys who are just talking too yeah, much. Yeah, of course. You yeah. beat them all, right? You beat most of the local guys in Ontario. Yeah. yeah. Much older than you, much more experienced than you at yeah. 80 kilos. Yeah. You're probably number one guy at 80 kilos in the whole country, guys. Pro pro could pro be, possibly, yeah. like if no one cuts cuts weight to 80 kilos, there are some people who could cut to 80 kilos. He's beaten people like Brad Wade. He's beaten, uh, he's beaten Mason Rossi, who was the national champ at 80 kilos. I think I think you're more suited to super matches than tournaments. 
Yeah. You think so? I, I just I, need I to think so. prove it more. Like, there's definitely that guys that I haven't beat yet, like Kelly, Kelly Leach. And, I mean, John Terry moved up now. So I want to pull Kelly Leach and some other guys that beat me at Nationals to mm -hmm. get them back so I can really prove that, like, I'm up there, you know? Yeah. But I haven't done that yet. But I, I like to think that I'm, like, compared to where I was at Nationals, I'm definitely a lot better now. So... Well, I have to see, right? This year, nationals. Yeah, you're gonna you're yeah. gonna try to do better than yeah. last year. Yeah, definitely. See, you pr you're like good at both arms, right? Yeah. Your like your right arm is almost as good as your left arm, and the same with your left yeah. arm and right arm. They're definitely. equal. Like they have their own days. Like some days yeah, your right yeah. arm's better, some days your yeah. left arm's better. So you never like train like just right arm or just train only left arm. You've no, always trained both always, your arms. Always, always. If I do ten reps with left, I do ten with right. I try to have it balanced because I care just as much on both You're arms. You're young too. But I definitely have some better spots on my right and then my left has better spots too. But overall, they're pretty, pretty even. You yeah. know? From what I've noticed, I think you like a little bit more top roll heavy on the left and a little bit more hook or like cup. Your, yeah. your cup is very dominant on both arms, but your yeah. right, your cup is good and your shoulder, you have the shoulder to yeah, back it out. because I had a shoulder injury on my left arm yeah. before I got into arm wrestling. And it still hasn't like, it's still getting back, you know? When yeah. I first started, it was not as good, but I feel like it's coming along now. I like to hook a lot on my left now, but I think they're pretty even, pretty even. Who do you th who, which wins are you most proud of on right and left? Like uh, Mason Rossi, I think on right was like... Well, Mason, Mason is definitely a big winner because he won IFA, but I, I've already had a, a, a pin on him at Nationals left arm, so... Yeah, definitely one of the big wins, Mason and Brad, Brad Wade. Brad I would say Wade. is a bigger win than Mason. Because I was, I was surprised that I beat Brad Wade that day. Yeah, I didn't, like Brad Wade was in, was he, he, yeah. he wasn't at his best, definitely. Yeah, it was just his first but still, Brad like Wade is years. still Brad Wade. Yeah, you know? he's, he's beat me. And I was like, like 16 years old, old back then, so. Yeah, I put the video on, yeah. on this. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Overlay. Okay. So you practice with Devin, right? And you almost pinned him on left arm. The, like yeah. there's a video on his YouTube, guys. Check it out. Yeah. It has yeah. like half a million views almost. Yeah, I I wouldn't say I almost really pinned him. I, I mean, think you pinned him. Like Devin is a nice guy. Yeah, though, right? yeah, he's, he's like, a nice guy. He gives you everything in practice. Yeah, there, yeah, I can't I can't take away from that. Obviously, nothing. Yeah, like, it's, you didn't you didn't pin him in real life, but I'm just saying yeah, that. Of course. You took him to a point where he was like, "Oh shit, I can't do anything anymore." Yeah. <laughs> I think I think he was definitely a bit surprised. Yeah. But I mean, I, I'm definitely nowhere there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like I can't. I, there are some guys that like think that just because they pin someone or like make someone work in practice that they're like close to them. Like that's you know stupid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't think Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. Huh. What else? Okay, so let's let's move on to rapid fire round. Okay, I've been doing this for the past couple podcasts. Rapid fire round. I did it with Arden and uh, John Men. What is that? I just ask you questions. You just you just give a short answers. I guess. Okay. Okay. It's just easy stuff. You okay. know, like what's your what's your favorite color? Is that a question? Yeah, right? that's a question. I, I don't have one. <laughs> you don't have a favorite color? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Really? Yeah. I don't no. have a favorite color. That's that, that's weird. Everyone had a favorite color. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your, who's your favorite arm wrestler? Like you just had to choose one. Like your favorite, it doesn't have to be the best or it's just... Man, I can't decide that. Like mine's Devin, like most people's is Devin, mm -hmm. right? Favorite, favorite, just overall my favorite? Yeah. It's rapid fire, you gotta be quick. Just Giannis. The first person that Giannis. comes to your mind. Giannis. Okay. What's your favorite, who's your favorite female arm wrestler? Gabby. Gabby? Yeah, Yo, that's mine too. Gabby yeah, is Gabby. hot and she's strong. I like her. She's yeah. strong, yeah. Yeah, she's super strong too. Yeah. Yeah, she puts it all on the table, right? She just screams. Yeah, ah. yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's, if you, let's say you, you're making the rankings, right? World rankings, top five, right arm. Who do you got? Levon, Hermes, Devin. Or is it my opinion or like official? It's your opinion. Like top five opinion in order. It's your opinion. Well, if in my opinion, I think... Levon, Devin, Hermes, Morozov, and then Gennady. Gennady, you put Gennady at five? 
did the jalapi jelly is like jelly. I, my my opinion is i think vitali beats Gennady. yeah vitali beats Gennady. even though like officially dave beat vitali and Gennady beat dave yeah it's jerry crazy, beat right jerry beat I, th- i think so i think jerry beats vitali but vitali beats Gennady. yeah and i, I want to see vitali i, I would put revas actually up there i would put revas yeah, number wanna, five see tomorrow we got we got to see how good yeah. they actually are right yeah yeah i don't know maybe maybe we yeah but top four is like kind of kind Similar. of good right kind of good like, I, th- like, i think devon is a good match with ermis i think he can beat ermis like in, yeah. in a six round i think i think devon can beat ermis and morozov yeah yeah if he's maybe yeah we'll, we'll see how good it does against levan right he could be a lot morozov, better now yeah yeah morozov looks like the next big deal <laughs> yeah yeah He looks definitely. Yeah. You saw his hand. It just like you saw the video. Yeah, of that's crazy. Yeah, it's my, crazy. Like if I just is, stretch it out, it hurts. Like if I stretch it out even this much, it hurts. Yeah, and, and, on, a, and on an arm wrestler, when do you see the elbows like that <laughs> flexible, right? Yeah. How can it be that flexible and so strong at the same time? <laughs> yeah, makes no sense. I know it's weird. <laughs> do you do gymnastics or something? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I've seen him do a lot of deadlifts. Could that could that maybe that? because he's like yeah. his hand is like stretched out right yeah I, i don't do deadlifts i don't know yeah yeah i don't know yeah yeah it's interesting so so like your goal is to be 90 kilos right in the yeah. future 90 yeah. kilos in the future that's your that's your like yeah goal. 200 or maybe a bit lighter maybe 85 85 what's your favorite food back to uh just like random questions what's Georgia. your favorite food Kingali. Kingali. What yeah. is that? Like it's a describe Georgian it. Food. Describe it. Like is it meat? It's dumplings. It's, dumplings. I've seen, I think I've seen it on Levan's yeah, video. Levan he's like hundred of those. Yeah, it's real. It's really. I can eat like barely like fifteen, and he eats like hundred. That's crazy. Yeah. It, so it fills you up. So just like ground meat inside like yeah, uh, dumplings. Yeah. They, they mix a bunch of meat together. I'm yeah. not sure how they make it, and it's just some Georgian um, seasonings. Mm. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. That that's that sounds tasty. Kingali. Yeah. Kingali. 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 Yeah. Close. Kingali. Okay. So what, what did he say? You I, ripped. I trained so often. I I ripped the pad. <laughs> so much, so much down pressure. <laughs> You're out here training. Sometimes all day. Yeah. That's it. This is your bedroom, right? Yeah. This is your pulley it's system in the bedroom. Yeah. I have to sleep right beside it. it makes me feel better. <laughs> There's few people on the internet on YouTube yeah. that think that you're unsterilized. What What's your opinion on that? Well, I mean. I don't, if I were them, I might think I'm on steroids too, right? I mean, I'm still pretty young, and I think I'm doing pretty good. But the answer is no, guys. I'm not on any steroids, and I'm not planning on doing them as of right now. I mean, we'll see. Maybe like if like, you win WAF and you're getting like super matches at yeah. East versus West, but there's like other people who are taking steroids, you might consider it, right? I don't know. I, but I for think now, you, you're not going to go into like I don't. I don't even think yeah. about it right now. Right? You're getting stronger. I kind of want to see where I can take it naturally. Like. What's the level? Yeah. I mean, I think I'm pretty sure it's hard, but there's definitely a couple guys that made it, right? Yeah. So John Brazing, Devin Ladd were all natural up to like 30, 34. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see how far I can take it without any any sort of. Yeah. You know. So you're 18. Yeah, you have at least 12, 13 years left yeah. of like your natural peak peaking yeah. time. Yeah. So you don't have to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. So the people who think that you're on steroids, they probably just have. Worse genetics, so they can't comprehend that someone could get so massive and muscular and strong. Yeah, well, they gotta realize, like, if you. He's working out four hours a day, right? Yeah, sometimes all day. Four hours bro, a day. Like, Let, okay, uh, we'll film his bedroom. We'll we'll show his bedroom, <laughs> and you'll realize how crazy he's about arm wrestling and why he's so strong. Yeah, it's it's my it's my way of like feeling better about myself. I get home and. It just I just feel better when I train. You're constantly thinking how to get stronger. Constantly. You're waking up in the morning. Yeah. Other than like school and your friends, yeah. all that's in your even, mind is even arm in wrestling. School, I'm training. Like I have grippers and I'm always like yeah, doing cool. something. It's cool. At, at class, know? like math yeah, class, yeah. you don't give a shit. When I get bored, shit. I do something. You know, I always gotta think of that getting stronger. You you, know? Like even if you're in class, you're just yeah. thinking about arm wrestling yeah. in your head. Yeah. Always, always, it's you, always. It's your life. Arm wrestling is your life, pretty much. Even when I meet someone else, like from school, I look at their hands and see, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, will they be like, good at arm yeah, wrestling? Yeah, yeah. Like, can you arm wrestle them? Yeah, you you can't get it out of your hand, head, head, dude. Like it's hard. Yeah. It's yeah. hard. Yeah, I understand. 
So is there anyone in school that you've started arm wrestling? Like you inspired them to start yeah, arm wrestling? Yeah, there's, uh, there's a couple guys actually. Uh, you met one guy, his name's C. Jan. Hmm. And he showed up to practice already. And he, he's so addicted oh, now. He arm wrestles everyone in oh, school. Oh yeah, I know yeah. that guy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, even the teachers. And he's just addicted now. He, does, he, can't, he can't like <laughs> forget it, you know? Nice. There's a couple guys like, that always arm wrestle me. But no, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. So let, let's say you can make a living of arm wrestling. You, you, like ideally, you would want to make a living of arm wrestling so you don't have to be working on a desk job or like a, like a laboring job or something, right? Let's say you make, yeah. somehow, like you make like good money, like $60,000 a year from arm wrestling. Let's say yeah. you have six super matches, each super match is paying like $10,000. Yeah. Um, well, I haven't considered um, making a But that would be the goal. That would be the goal. The, yeah. It could like be. that would be the dream, right? Because you can yeah. be constantly working on getting stronger and getting yeah. better at arm wrestling. That would definitely be awesome. I'm not thinking about that right now because I don't know how good I'll get, right? If mm. I'll be able to get there. Right now, I just do it because I just enjoy it, man. Like, I don't, I don't think I'll ever stop. Even if I'm really bad at it, I wouldn't ever stop, I don't think. Because I'm just so addicted to it right now. So it's just something I enjoy. But if, it, if I could make a living out of it, obviously, that would be really good, right? Mm. Yeah. So, like, when you're watching YouTube, like, just having fun, who are your favorite arm wrestling YouTubers? Uh, East vs. West, obviously, we're watching and right Terzi, now. East vs. West. I watch a lot of RVJ videos. Krasimir, Kostandinov also. Devin, too, obviously. Travis, Top Roll King. No, there's a lot of guys, yeah. There's, yeah. Even uh, Devin's son now, Arden, Arden, he makes great content. So you beat Arden on right and left arm at uh, Pick 10 yeah. arm wrestling? Yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's still... He's getting pretty, stronger, like I just saw a picture yeah. of him, he's getting pretty massive. He's still pretty near to like actual training, right? Yeah, so like, I think he's gonna get a lot better. But yeah, he's definitely, he probably even know, knows more than I do in arm wrestling, right? Just because yeah. uh, he's been around it. But, yeah. Yeah. Is there any kid that you faced who's like your age or like around your age that has beat you? Mason beat me left arm. Left arm, yeah. So Mason is like the other big up and coming star from Canada. They had a yeah. match last year, left and right. Mason beat him left arm and Alexander beat him right arm. Yeah, so I, I would want to see how I'm right now. I think that I'm a lot better than I was back then, especially with my left. I used to be only like top roll back then, and now my hook is better. Mm -hmm. So I want to see a nationals. I'm, maybe I'll get to pull him again mm -hmm. and see how it is. But as of right now, in my eyes, I think I think I'm number one in Canada, like in my age. But uh, we'll see, right? Nationals, we'll yeah. see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, there's no one your age, right? That has beat you. No one. No. Nope. Need some. He needs Other a challenge, that. guys. Yeah, Chris stops. Chris stops. Baby and WAF. He's, you're planning to go to WAF this year, right? Cause I'll I, uh, see. Cause I, might, I might be able maybe, to, yeah. If, if I don't it. have, if nothing comes up, I yeah. might be able to, yeah. 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 Youth division. Yeah. So you're still 18. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make under 18, maybe 80 kilos. And we'll see how that goes, yeah. Okay. Do you have any favorite song, Alex? Like any kind of music that you like? Uh, I like... Uh, I like rock. Actually. You like rock, like any type of rock. Yeah. Led Zeppelin, ACDC, ACDC, heavy metal rock. Uh, Rammstein, if you know. Mm, that's that's like grudge heavy metal. Yeah, I okay, like that's that heavy rock. metal. Yeah, that yeah. makes me fired up when I'm working out. So that's what you're listening to when you're working out. That heavy and metal. I also listen to techno music, like mm. just like uh, bass, bass songs. Yeah, it's good, it's good yeah, songs. yeah, it gets yeah. my energy. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah, no, no Georgian songs like. Nothing uh, Georgian no, music. I'm not a big fan There's of it. There's no like the, the folk music that I keep listening, the Georgian folk music. Listen man, like every every Georgian song that's if it's not new, it's only about wine and women. That's all it's about. <laughs> there it's always about love and women yeah. and like you know, but, but but imagine hundred years ago there was no T V, there's nothing yeah, all yeah. you had was wine and women to make right? you happy, sense. you know. But some raps are pretty good, new Georgian raps. Mm. I listen to some of them but not not a lot. Not a big fan of rap overall. Yeah. What do you think of uh, Bacho Stagnishvili? 
Have you like you've not met him, right? I have never met him. But you've no. seen a lot of his videos on YouTube. Oh yeah, he's a he's a bad dude. Man. Yeah, yeah. He's he's my age, so it's crazy. I'm I'm definitely not. I mean, I don't know where I'm at, but I don't think I'm there yet. Hmm. He's definitely. I mean, yeah. we'll see tomorrow, right? We'll yeah, see. Yeah, we'll see if he can beat Adam Wojcicki. Yeah. But just looking at his lifts, like. Like you, you do you ever do strict bicep curl with the easy bar? Have you ever done that? Oh, I haven't done it for like almost but, a year. But I'm guessing you would get around two four, at least, at least, eighty kilos. I've like, done eighty kilos before. Yeah, I think you can get eighty yeah, kilos. I've done eighty kilos. But so Bacho has done do hundred and five really. kilos. Really. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Insane, I don't think it's like super necessary for arm wrestling. Like you don't see Devin. I do. I do one yeah. arm curls more. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. No, everyone trains differently, right? I mean, Georgians mostly train their biceps a lot. Mm. And in Canada, it's mostly hand. But yeah, yeah, nice. everyone's different. I think everything is going to work differently for everyone. I think, I think if I get my hand strong enough right now, I'm going to be good. But I also need to work on my arm, right? But yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's wrap it around, wrap, wrap it here. Just give us a good flex and we'll... Then, then we'll okay, go film your training systems. Yeah. Go subscribe to Alex, guys. Alex Koshadze. Just yeah. tell people how to pronounce your name. Lots of people don't know how to pronounce it's your name. Koshadze. Koshadze. Ko Koshadze. Koshadze. Alexander. Alexander. Koshadze. Alexander Koshadze. Okay. Koshadze. Check him out on YouTube, Instagram. He posts some videos here and there. Yeah. I'm but he's he's super strong, active. guys. He's super strong. Yeah. He's only 18 years old. Future star over there. Future guy. Thank you. Thank you, Max. Thank you. Be strong. Subscribe, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's just too massive. Yeah.